Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at hard drives. This is the Lassie Too Big Raid. Hard drives are not the most exciting part of filmmaking hardware. They're not as sexy as the lens or the camera or lights. Um, most people just want their hard drives to work, uh, not to crash and to be fast enough to access their data. If you have a drawer full of old hard drives at home and you get frustrated plugging them in, trying to find your data, um, that file that you lost years ago, it might be time to move to a more resilient storage solution. The Lassie Too Big RAID is two drives um, bundled together as a RAID. Now you can have it as a JBOB or just a bunch of disks. You can have it as RAID 0, which just means that um, serves as one giant disk with the capacity of both of the drives, or you can have RAID 1, which is all your data is mirrored on both drives. You get a little bit increase in access speed, a little bit, in, uh, no, incre no real increase in write speed, but it means that should one of the drives fail, all your data is still there on the other drive. You can just pull out the failed drive, put in a brand new drive, um, the little computer inside the too big raid will copy all your data from the safe to the new one and you'll have a backup again. Uh, the only port on the back is Thunderbolt 3 so you get uh, very fast access speeds. I have to point out though that SATA which is what these spinning drives are tops out about 300 megabytes per second so you're not going to get the uh, 500 or 1000 megabytes per second that you would get from a solid state disk um, with this arrangement. But for Canon C200 RAW 4K in 12-bit, you're only looking at about 150 megabytes per second. So um, this hard drive could potentially, through Thunderbolt 3, handle double feed of that at the same time. It's really nicely made. Um, it looks really nice on your desk. Uh, it's obviously, you know, let's see, have put the extra effort in to make this beautiful. Maybe it even goes with the uh, iMac Pro. You can get it in... Uh, 4 terabyte, 8 terabyte, and 16 terabyte capacities. I'll put the links in the description so you can see how much they are, but they're actually pretty competitively priced. But if you want to use these as a RAID 1, meaning that your drives are mirrored, you'll only get half that capacity. So if you get a 4 terabyte um, too big RAID, you want to put it as RAID 1, you'll only, it'll appear on your computer as one 2 terabyte drive. The drives inside the enclosure are enterprise class, um, which means that they're more tolerant of heat, more tolerant of vibration, and they come with a longer warranty. So this hard drive, because it has enterprise class drives inside it, comes with a five year data recovery warranty. So should both drives fail, or if you have this as RAID zero um, and one drive fail and you can't get the data, you can send it away um, and they'll recover the data for you, send it back to you on a new drive. I think just the peace of mind of that is alone worth paying the extra cost. Comes with Lassie's own uh, software that sits on your desktop and monitors the health of both of the drives and can let you know if you want to change one out. In the couple of weeks I've been using this, I haven't had a problem. What I'm moving towards is a smaller drive like this. And I say small, it's uh, you know eight terabytes. A smaller drive like this um, right next to my computer and then a larger um, NAS or network attached storage um, that's connected via uh, 10 gigabit ethernet um, off somewhere else in the office um, that sort of access deep storage. So this is your day-to-day -day working drive. And then and once a project is finished, you transfer it off um, to a second drive that maybe not be as fast, um, but at least you can access it and everything's there. You don't have to plug in multiple drives looking for that file that got away. That's my look at the Lassie Too Big RAID. Uh, very cool little unit. Um, I saw them at NAB. They let me have this uh, as part of a promotion. Uh, I gave one away. So thank you to Lassie. Uh, leave your questions in the comments. Like I said, the links are in the description and I will see you next time.